Hello everyone, I'm Glenda with Surefit Designs, whimsically known as Glenda the Good Stitch. In this short video, I'm going to give you a really quick little tip on how to reduce the sleeve cap ease to make your job of setting a sleeve in a lot easier. It's just kind of a little cheater's technique. It doesn't have a lot to do with mathematics. It has to do a little bit with your skill and the fabric that you're using and the cap. But let's take a look at the actual factors that really can affect how well you get a sleeve sewn into an armhole. Sometimes when sewing in an, a sleeve into an armhole, you end up having puckers on the front of the cap or maybe on the back of the cap as well. Well, for some people that might be acceptable, but it isn't for me. I really like to have a nice smooth cap going in there. Now, part of the ability to set in a cap is experience and I've been setting in sleeves for a heck of a long time so it comes second nature to me what I do and I always use exactly the same process whether I'm working with a woven or a knit fabric usually with a knit sometimes with knits you can just stretch them together but where you're going to find the technique that I use is to go to the Surefit Designs Learning Center, that's sfdlearningcenter.com, and go to the video library and look under SC for Sewing Construction Steps and Techniques, and you'll see how to set a sleeve in. I know that there are lots of other ways to set a sleeve in, but it's what you get used to and what you're comfortable with, and of course, experience. So experience is definitely one of those factors that's going to affect how smoothly the sleeve goes in. Another factor that's going to affect how smoothly a sleeve sets into the armhole is the fabric you're using. In this sample right here, I am using a cotton poly. This is the cotton poly that's called Symphony Broadcloth from Joanne Fabrics. It's 65 cotton, 35 poly. You can see it has absolutely no stretch to it whatsoever. I use this in my private retreats for all of our bodice testing, and it's because it doesn't stretch. But because it doesn't stretch means that it can be pretty difficult to get it to set in really nicely. And so, I'm, again, I'm going to show you a quick little technique how we can get rid of some sleeve capes. But while I'm talking about fabrics, I'd like to also talk about the jacket that I have on display here. This is 100% polyester, and it is a woven fabric, and it's really, really loosely woven. It's what I call kind of wonky. But because it's kind of loosely woven and wonky, it meant that I could put my ease stitches in the sleeve cap, and then I could take that sleeve cap and mold it over top of a like a tailor's ham, very similar to working with a, a wool when you're making a wool coat or jacket. And you can see that this sleeve looks beautiful when it's set in. There aren't any puckers or gathers. And when you're working with a sleeve pattern, you need the height on the cap to go up and over top of your shoulder bone. And you can see that that's happening here. And the sleeve set in beautifully and the sleeve is hanging beautifully. And this sleeve and this sleeve have pretty much the same amount of ease in them. Now, let's talk about the pattern because that's the third factor that can affect your success at getting a sleeve set into the armhole. And that's the amount of ease that the cap has. Now, again, I'm going to reference you to the Surefit Designs Learning Center. And if you go to our article library, look for an article that's called Sleeves and All Their Quirkiness. When you take a look at that, I'm going to talk about the dimensions of the width of the sleeve, the height of the sleeve cap, how broad this, the sleeve cap is. And you're also going to see ease um, um, uh, references given there as well. So what I talk about there is that the back of the sleeve cap should have a maximum of 5 eighths of an inch of ease. Can be a little less, of course, depending on your fabric, but you typically don't want it a lot more than about 5 eighths of an inch for a bell shape of cap like this. And again, one major exception is that when you're working with a wool and you're doing something like a coat and you're putting in a header and that kind of thing, you might want to go up to about three quarters of an inch of ease, but that's really, really pushing it to ease it in. 
On the front of the sleeve cap, from underarm up to the sleeve cap notch, you want a maximum of a half an inch of ease. So anywhere from 3 8 to half is pretty good. And how you determine how much ease the sleeve has is, or the sleeve cap I should say, is simply by standing the tape measure on edge and walking the tape around the cap up to the sleeve cap notch. And you compare that to the underarm point on the back to the shoulder seam at the top. And then you subtract the difference between the armhole of the bodice and the sleeve cap. And when you get that difference, that tells you how much ease that cap has. Now, when we take a look at this bodice, and you can see that it's got these puckers and little tucks here. Again, because of my years of experience of sewing, I could have worked at this and I could have gotten that to look better. I couldn't have gotten it to look totally perfect, but, and it's because of the amount of ease that the front of the cap has, but I could have gotten it to look better, but I wanted to leave it like this so that you could see that this frequently happens. And when ladies send me their test garments and say, can you help out? Is there something I can do with the sleeve? Then I tell them about this little technique. And now after this video, I'll be able to show them how to do it. But yes, there is. We can remove a little bit of the ease in a very, very easy process. But again, had I worked on this, I could have gotten it to look a little bit better. But if you're a novice or even an intermediate seamstress, you might appreciate the technique that I am now going to show you. So without any dramatic mathematics or calculations or evaluations, all we're going to do is remove a little tuck on the back and the front of the sleeve cap. And how I'm going to determine where to put that tuck is I'm going to measure down from the shoulder seam and I'm going to see that the majority of those little gathers that I don't like are about two to two and a half inches down. So I'm just going to mark that distance on the cap of the sleeve pattern on the front and on the back like that. Now what I need to do is make a little tuck going to nothing. So I need to fold the tracing vellum and I'll just pick this up, make a tiny little pinch, and I'm going to give it a quick little fold like that. And I'm going to do, well actually I'll finish this one, and then I'm just going to take this and make the tiniest little tuck maybe an eighth of an inch at the very most. And then I will take some of my, this is the removable tape that we sell. It's absolutely a must for doing any kind of pattern work because you can remove it if you need to. So I made a tiny little tuck there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna get a pinch in the tracing vellum and then I will make a tiny little tuck right here. No more than about an eighth of an inch is what I'm doing. Actually, I think this is a little bit narrower, about three sixteenths of an inch. All right, now, that got rid of some of the ease. Look what it did to the sleeve cap. It made this little bubble right on the top. And that's okay. I'm just going to mush it down like that. It's not going to affect too much me laying this pattern on the fabric, but what is really important here is that it did not change the width of the bicep. And this is so important for you ladies who have a large upper arm and you've done a large upper arm tune-up. You've made the whole pattern wider to accommodate the fullness of your bicep. And so many of you struggle with this. When you get the sleeve wider, it automatically makes the cap longer, and a longer cap equates to more ease. And of course, the more ease the cap has, the more difficult it is to sew into the arm side. So you can see what I've done here is I've removed excess ease. I've just let it bubble in the interior of the cap, but I haven't affected the bicep width. So that means that it's still going to fit over your larger upper arm. So it's really a great little, as I said, cheater's way to get 
and remove some of the cappies without affecting the size of the sleeve. Now, I've done one other little process here that could work for you, could be helpful, and I'll just take this sample, this tracing volume sample out. Here's a little short sleeve cap, and what I did was I slashed the pattern from the seam allowance to the centers, two diagonal slashes, and I kind of let the center just be a hinge point. And then what you can do is just overlap like this and tape down there and there. So if you find cutting the pattern makes this easier to work with the cap, you can go ahead and do this. You're still going to end up with a little bit of bulge in the center, but it's just another way to get rid of some of that excess of ease. And if you have a little bit of a jog in the sleeve cap, just use your pencil and true that jog out because it's not going to affect anything else. And let's take a look at the finished sleeve. And there it is. Can you see how much more beautifully and smoothly that is set in to this arm side? It looks absolutely great. For all intents and purposes, it's the same pattern as this one, except for I removed just a little bit of ease with my little cheaters technique. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, I invite you to join the Sherpa Designs community if you haven't already. And you can do that in three easy steps. Number one, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Surefit Designs. Secondly, make sure to um, uh, join our newsletter list. And you can do that by going to surefitdesigns.com and sign up for the newsletter list and there are free gifts to get you started. And if you happen to be a Facebook fan, we do have a private group. Go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Surefit Designs. Request to join. Make sure you answer the three questions and I'll approve you. Thanks so much for watching.